Masoni provides a system to microfinances that can then be provided to those unbanked people that live in remote rural areas and that do not have traditional access to financial products like we do here in the Western world. So our product is a core banking system that provides those microfinances with all the modern technology that we are very accustomed to, like quick payments, tablets, going out there in the rural field, but then at a fraction of the cost that it would traditionally cost to them. We obviously are B2B business, so for the microfinances we provide them with a solution that is scalable because we're a SaaS and we provide them with all the technology in one package. So our mission and our vision from the start has really been to enable technology, not through upsells, not through barriers, but by lowering those barriers. So our product has all of the stuff that we think is relevant to get out there, to get into the rural areas and reach those in need built in from the scratch. So we offer a tablet solution that field staff can use in the remote rural areas where there's not even connectivity. We provide mobile payments. We integrate with other players in local markets like, for example, credit bureaus, etc. So for the microfinance, we enable them to make good use of technology without technology becoming a blocker because of its traditional cost. What that means for the end users, we hope, is that they are able to then access financial products more easily, more financial products in more remote rural areas where traditionally others wouldn't come because it wasn't beneficial to set up, let's say, a branch. And then hopefully that means that we reach far more people and bank them in a way that traditionally was not possible. Masoni currently has customers in 29 countries today. Um, 75 customers, so 75 microfinance banks, um, buy now pay later companies, uh, SACOs and other types of financial service providers. We service mostly Africa and Asia um, and in those two regions, those are our key regions, we service about 1.8 million end customers. So these are the peoples actually taking the loans and actually taking the benefit from the services that we by proxy provide. I think we've been on a journey with Goodwell for quite a while. They invested in us about eight years ago, I think when Goodwell was a much younger company and Masoni was as well. And I think throughout the journey, both companies grew and in the growing of a company and the growing of any business or any, anything in life, you have a vision, we have a clear vision, we have a clear mission, both of us. That's still very much there, but then life happens. And I think what Goodwell helped us with is at different stages of growth, at different stages of development of the company, whether it was the product, whether it was the team, whether it was the culture, whether it was whatever we were navigating at different times, we had a sparring partner in, in Goodwill and in the Goodwill representatives that we could always bring up and you know find a, a listening ear uh, in, in a form of mentoring and coaching. So that really goes beyond the, the pure financial aspect of the investment. Uh, it also goes beyond the regular governance and reporting that we all do to each other because of you know the relationship that we have. But it's far more of that personal relationship that you build over time, not only with those representing Goodwill directly, but also different people in the team. You know, HR challenges, Goodwill brings their own HR people in as well. And we get to speak to everyone. Um, we get to take the benefit of everyone within Goodwill and within Goodwill's network. And that's been really valuable because, you know, we're out there and everyone's out there and it's often hard to find like-minded people that have gone through the similar experiences of working in difficult areas, working in difficult circumstances, but still trying to, to achieve the same ultimate goals.